Hello, I'm Frema Shoes. Today I'm going to teach you how to... You saw me eating chicken and uh, chips or uh, fries. And I want to show you how you can make your own and become your own business entrepreneur. You may be a graduate or undergraduate or not graduate. But if you want, if you are a fan of cooking, you want to make money from fast food. This is what you have to watch. Now, listen, let me take you to the ingredients. This is flour, just ordinarily flour, um, paprika, oil, uh, breadcrumb or penko, whatever you can call it, this breadcrumb. I have some salt. I have some two eggs. I have some chicken right here. This is ginger, garlic, and onion blend. And this is fresh tumbayam right here. Now, before we do anything, I'm going to push everything aside and we are going to, I'm going to slice my, cut some of the yam. Okay. And um, I'm going to slice it and I'll be right back. Stay tuned, don't go nowhere. This is Frema Shoes. All right, welcome back to Frema Shoes. Well... We are going to cut the yam into small pieces, any pieces of your choice, but watch this, okay? First, I'm going to cut this part so that I can cut them, cut them into pieces like that. Okay. This is just to show you how you can turn your kitchen into a restaurant or you can just be your own entrepreneur okay so I'm just gonna cut just this size you don't need any special machine to cut them okay all right so basically I'm gonna leave this half right there yeah that's plenty all right so I'm going to wash it and this is how it looks let me show you so you know this is how it looks okay I'm going to wash it and I'll be right back stay tuned don't go nowhere you're still watching free mushrooms okay welcome welcome back this is how it looks all right this is your yam and you're going to make it like it needs to be dry so i'm going to leave it outside for it to get dry then after it's dry we are going to fry it okay we're going to deep fried fried it so don't go nowhere i'm gonna leave it to fry but once we are waiting for it to dry we're going to work on our chicken stay tuned don't go nowhere this is very much shows all right, welcome back. We are still on our entrepreneur ideas. All right, so remember the basic ingredient that I took you through. We are going to work on our chicken drumstick. All right, so I'm going to pour some water, some oil into the pan. I like frying things in a big saucepan because I don't want my, my stove to be messy, okay? That is why I use big pots. I don't like to use... Um, all right, so we're gonna leave the oil to warm up. As the oil is doing so, now let me take you to how I'm gonna do everything. Okay, this, this is the normal freezer bag that you can get it at anywhere. When you go to the mall, you go to the shopping mall, you can get it. Ordinary freezer bag. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five pieces of chicken drumstick. I'm going to put in my freezer bag right here okay all right then this is ginger garlic and onion i'm going to add a little bit of salt for taste just a little bit not too much now um this is paprika you want the your chicken to be reddish or you want it to be normal well if you want it to be reddish don't need color please if you cook and use color in your food stop it Okay, you end up killing your family. So get paprika. This is paprika. Mm -hmm. This is paprika. All right, so I'm going to add about one 
uh, teaspoon of paprika just to make their meat reddish I'm gonna mix this together and I'll be right back stay tuned okay it's nice and mixed together what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients into my freezer bag all right zip it and shake it together be sure to make sure that it's all mixed together if you don't have a freezer bag you can mix them in the curry bowl that's fine all right leave it for a few minutes for it to soak in i'm going to grab another spoon and we are going to work on our chicken so i'm going to pour some panko or breadcrumb into my pan stay tuned don't go nowhere let me grab a spoon and a fork and i'll be right back all right welcome back to Freeman shows i have two eggs here okay all right so we are going to beat it together Make sure it's well beat. I can see my oil is nice and warm. Ready to fry my chicken. Okay, now this is the procedure. If you're going to use it as a business idea, this is what you're gonna do. First, you take the chicken out, you dip them into the flour, okay? Flour first. Chicken into the flour. Okay. Okay. You double it as much as you can. All right. So I'm gonna finish doing it, and I'll get back to you. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. Okay. I'm done with the chicken with the flour. The next is. After the flour, you dip it in your egg. Okay? Mm hmm Okay. So let me finish it or from egg to breadcrumb or your panko. This is how you end up getting your chicken nice and crispy. From the panko to your deep fried. Oh, nice. Okay, all right, so stay tuned. I'm gonna double it or dip in it until I get it all coated and fry. You are still watching Frema Shows, your number one chef, Richie Ray in Ghana. <laughs> okay, stay tuned, don't go nowhere. We're gonna put all the chicken in. So from the flour to the panko, then you fry it all to the breadcrumbs. All right, so I'm done with coating all of them. And I'm going to dip it right here. Let me see if I have more space. Yeah, I think I do. Okay. So that's it. Basically, that's it. It's one more left. I don't have, I don't think I have space. Let me see. I think I can put it in. Of course. All right. So deep fry, it's a, it's a little bit messy work, but hey, you want to make money, so you have access to your... So stay tuned, don't go nowhere, still watching Frema Show. This is how it's doing so far. We are deep frying it. It's going to be nice and crunchy. I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> I just turned them around, and I just wanted to know how it looks so far. Is it that beautiful? Yeah, this is how you end up... You don't need to cook the chicken before you you fried it. it if you do that you lose it because it becomes so small and everything but if you do this it's gonna be very nice and crunchy stay tuned don't go nowhere you're still watching free much shows very soon we are going to fry our yam all right our chicken is ready if you have a food warmer you can keep it in to warm it up look at how big and fat it looks right okay so I'm gonna put in a warmer 
once we are going to fry the yam uh, because I don't want it to be too cold you know we want it to be nice and crunchy okay all right why don't you do this make a living out of it all right this is how it looks now stay tuned don't go nowhere be right back okay welcome back our yam is nice and dry you can sparkle with a little bit of salt or you can add the salt later when you're done just a little bit to get a flavor out of it oh all right let me see if my let's wait the oil is not warm yet so let's leave it to warm up then we'll put our oil, um, our yams in all right, I think my oil is nice and warm. We're going to put our yams in. Now, leave it to slow cook so you don't burn it, okay? Yeah, leave it to slow cook. All right. Let's leave it to fry and I'll get back to you. I'll show you how it's doing little by little. Don't go nowhere. I'm still watching free mushrooms. So far, we are still working on our yam in a slow heat so that it will take time for it to fry, cooked and fried. So stay tuned, don't go nowhere. You're still watching Frame of Shoes. We are still working on our, our chips or fried yam. It's getting there. It's turning brown little by little in the low heat. Because remember, you, you didn't boil it, so you need to be fried. I need to be cooked before it fries. So make sure you put in low heat. And don't burn it though. Stay tuned, don't go nowhere. I'm still watching Frame of Shoes. We'll be right back. Alright, we are getting there. It's getting brownish. Yeah, it's getting there. So stay tuned, don't go nowhere. Yeah. See how it looks? Yeah, it's getting there. So don't go nowhere. I'm still watching Frame of Shoes. We'll be right back. I think our fries is nice and brown. How do you know? Feel it? Yeah. And also you can tell by try to not okay don't burn it though because it's, it's yam if you over fried it too much or you make it a lot more brown it will end up being um, bitter okay all right so as, as it get cold or it cools down it become crunchy so don't worry too much to make it um, this how it looks okay why did i put it on the because uh why did i put it why did i put on the um paper towel because it's all um it was deep fried so i'm going to dry it mm -hmm. so that it didn't cream okay now let me go and get my chicken i'll be right back all right this is how it looks our fried yam is ready and chicken you can do this for business and I mean if you want to be entrepreneur you can do this this or chicken and this or fried we made it from scratch with you you can go with um, you can add shito or ketchup whatever you want to go with it but I do want to thank you for watching my name is the remain famous shows your number one chef in Ghana I'll see you next time it's bye bye